This week we read the portion of Kisavo and the portion begins Vahoya Kisavo Yala Aret. So it'll be when you come into the land. Our rabbis tell us, Ain't Vahoya Lashon Simcha. Anytime you find the terminology of Vahoya used in the Torah, it's an expression of joy. Torah is expressing the joy of God that the Jewish people come into the land and inherit the land and settle in the land, etc. And likewise for us, it's a joyous experience to live in a beautiful and holy spiritual land. And as the Torah tells us, it's Eretz Zavas a land that flows with milk and honey. But we know that in order to have milk, it just doesn't happen on its own. You have to milk the cow, otherwise there's no milk. In order to have honey, likewise, we have to take the dates, and the dates have to be compressed, you have to be squeezed the, the, the the dates in order to take the honey from to extract the honey from the dates. So while God promises us that He's going to bring us into a land of flowing milk and honey, yet at the same time, it's necessary for us to do something. God wants our participation as well. We have to work the land, minimal, but we still have to work the land. And more importantly, is we have to be true Jews. We have to love the land of Israel. We have to serve God in the land of Israel. We have to do all the mitzvahs that are connected with the land of Israel. And when we live the way a Jew is supposed to live, in the land of Israel, then we are blessed to have it flow with milk and honey. And then perhaps, yes, it's necessary to milk the cows. Doesn't mean that we have to do it. Yes, it's necessary to harvest the, the dates and to press them. But it doesn't mean we have to do it. It can be done by people who work for us. So when we do what we have to do, and we live the way Torah wants us to live, then we are blessed with many great blessings. And not only a, man, a land of, of milk and honey, it is Zobat's Cholov Udvash that flows, overflows the milk and honey. May God bless us that very speedily, all of us should be gathered together from all corners of the world, back to our promised land, our homeland, where it will be Ishtach as Gafnev, Ishtach as Tainasei. Everyone will have the land, will live in peace, with no fear of any enemies attacking us. And as we have seen great miracles this week, may God continue to show us great miracles, and may the new year be a year full of blessing, happiness, and peace with the coming of Mashiach to Canaan. Shabbat Shalom.